the Thunder looking in game five to correct at the beginning what got them in the end on Sunday in Los Angeles. Uh, defensive deficiencies that allowed 38 points total, 24 of those in the paint. Yeah, there were 12 fast break points for the Clippers as well off of turnovers and just poor transition defense. So the Thunder through three quarters of game four were really stealth defensively. They limited the Clippers to 35% field goal shooting. They're capable of it, Brian. They've got to sustain it for the full 48 minutes in game five tonight, beginning from the opening tip. You know, one of the things that uh, the players and Coach Scott Brooks were talking about yesterday after practice was just maintaining the right mindset, uh, understanding that's one game, you put it aside, you don't worry about it, you play tonight every possession for 48 minutes. Uh, the other thing that Karan Butler said is you want to create a positive environment and understand the fact that, yeah, you were up 22 in the first half and 16 in the fourth quarter in game four. Well, I, I would say wipe the slate totally clean. I mean, they recognize and, and they can fall back on that in moments in the game, but every game in the playoffs takes on its own life form, so they've got to create from blank slate from the opening tip in game five on their home floor tonight, space the floor effectively offensively, move the basketball. They're scoring at a high level when they do that against this Clipper defense, and they and defensively stay locked in the full 48 minutes and reclaim the advantage in the series. And let's discuss for a moment the question of balance. If you look at the fourth quarter the other night, Durant and Westbrook combined for 15 of the Thunder's 20 shots. The Thunder has had much better success throughout the run of the playoffs getting other players involved. But that falls back on the spacing. It really does because when Kevin Durant is immediately double teamed on the pass off the high post, if the space is not, uh, if the floor is not spaced effectively, he doesn't have an immediate quick option that can make the Clippers pay for that defensive deployment. Thunder have got to stay disciplined that way in game five tonight. And the Thunder does say that it's got a couple of ways to adapt better tonight than they were able to on Sunday afternoon. So Matt will have the call with Grant Long on the Thunder Radio Network. An 8.30 tip off at Chesapeake Energy Arena. We'll have a digital version of Thunder Live pregame on thunder.nba.com and then postgame coverage as soon as the ball game is over we'll be with you on Fox Sports Oklahoma.